Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, so it feels weird to be filming again. I know I've been not posting for a while now, about a month, but I am back and I'm gonna be posting regularly. And today's video is one of my classics. I'll be doing recommendations on the best shows and movies from this month and last month since I missed the month of February. So it will be for both February and March. And I'll be telling you all the best shows and movies on Netflix, Prime, Apple TV, Disney, and I think that's it. Those are the main ones. So if you're looking for recommendations for shows or movies, I'll be going through the top 10 from the month of February and March right now. So to start off, the first show I have on my list was a fave and you guys know this show you guys have heard about it if you haven't watched it you need to watch it Ginny and Georgia it was all over Twitter everybody was talking about it it was just so good even my brother watched it which was surprising because I didn't think my brother would watch that kind of show but if you haven't heard of it or if you haven't watched it yet basically it's about this girl who has a mother who had her really really young and she also has a younger brother from a different father it's a whole situation and she basically just follows her mom around every time her mom gets a new husband and the show starts off with the mom's most recent husband dying and then we just kind of follow the girl Ginny in high school and just all the things that she's going through but then on the side we kind of find out the backstory behind Georgia the mom and what's going on with her so it's a mix of kind of like a coming to age teenage drama mixed with mystery and thriller and kind of suspense on the mom side so it's a really good combination really good show really really popular so if you haven't checked it out yet make sure to check that one out oh and that's on netflix by the way i forgot to say that next i have falcon and the winter soldier i think that's what it's called i'm pretty sure it's on disney plus this is obviously the new marvel show that's on disney plus it's following falcon and the winter soldier from all those avengers movies so if you're an avengers fan if you're just a marvel fan this is a good one to check out and it kind of continues that storyline if you've been following all the movies the next show that i loved was calls and i don't really know if you consider this a show i guess it's kind of a show maybe it's like short stories i don't really know what to call it but it's a new series on Apple and basically it's these short stories that are told through the perspective of a phone call so it's not actually a visual thing it's literally just listening to a phone call between different people and then you get the story that way they're very short they're only like 15 20 minutes so it's easy to get through it's kind of like a podcast feel but still has that kind of imagery where it makes you feel like it's a show almost so i would say this one is definitely something different so if you're looking for something different something interesting and a little bit creepy to be honest then this is going to be a really good one for you especially if you don't have a lot of time and you just want to listen to something and not have to watch at the same time the next show is called tell me your secrets this one is on prime and it is kind of a thriller mystery suspense trauma kind of all of that wrapped into one it follows three different characters all having very different experiences in life there's one who's a dangerous killer and then there's another character who is a previous predator who is looking for redemption and then there's a mother who's trying to find her missing daughter so it's all very different experiences and kind of stories going on at the same time but it's really interesting and has a really good drama aspect to it so if you're looking for one of those that you can just binge then this is gonna be the perfect show and then last on my list another one from Netflix Firefly Lane this one was also so good up there with Ginny and Georgia I really really loved it almost kind of like a m more mature drama compared to Ginny and Georgia it's about two best friends who have been best friends their entire life since they were teenagers and now they're adults and navigating different things that are going on in their life which kind of pulls in that drama aspect to it but then at the same time there's a mystery going on where there's this funeral that's happening and I don't want to ruin it too much but there's a funeral that's happening we don't really know who the funeral is for and you're kind of trying to figure out what's going on the whole show so it's so good I love it like I would rewatch it that's how good it is so if you want something where you can just sit back and relax that has some romance some drama some mystery all entangled into one then you're really gonna like this one well those were the top five shows from February and March that I really really liked and now I'm gonna be talking about the top five movies and these are also some really really good ones so if you're looking for something a little bit longer you can just chill with some friends or family and just watch with some popcorn these movies are a must watch 
So with that being said, the first movie that I loved was from Netflix and it was called Deadly Illusions. So this has gotten some buzz a little bit, but I don't think it's been covered too much, so you might not have heard of it already. It is a bit of a psychological thriller mixed with a bit of a mystery. And basically it's about this woman who is an author and she hires this woman, woman, but like, when I say woman, it sounds so old. She hires this, I guess she's a woman, yeah, she's a woman, but she's younger, like much younger than her because the author is a mom. So she hires somebody who's I think like in her 20s, late 20s, maybe early 30s, much younger to be a nanny to her kids. But in the process of watching this movie, it kind of trips up your mind because you don't really know what is fact and what is fiction, which kind of pulls in the aspect of her being an author. So you can't really tell if what is happening is part of something she's writing perhaps, or is it happening in real life? Like, you don't really know. So that's where the psychological aspect comes in. So if you like a good psychological thriller, this is a really good one to check out. The next movie on my list is Greenland, and it is on Prime. And it is a perfect movie for the times that are going on right now. Basically, the movie is about the end of the world is coming, and there are these bunkers that the military has created. I believe it's the US military, but they might be all over the world. I think every country made them, but this follows a family specifically in the US. And the US made these bunkers for people to go into while the world is ending so that the human race can continue and then when the world is safe again that they can come out. But in order to get into the bunker, you have to be chosen. So this one family, they were chosen because I don't even remember why. I feel like I, I don't know, this is slipping my mind, but the dad did some sort of profession that was important. I, I don't know, I can't remember right now. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. The, this specific family is chosen, so it's a mom, dad, and then their son. And basically they have to drive to the bunker to get into the bunker in time. Obviously there's people who weren't chosen for the bunker that are trying to get in the bunker, so that's a whole other thing. And so all these different bumps in the road happen along the way as this family tries to get to the bunker, even though they're supposed to be in the bunker. So it's kind of one of those movies where you're like just get in the bunker but they can't get in the bunker because there's so many things going on so it kind of keeps you at the edge of your seat and it's a really good thriller and action type movie so if you're looking for something that kind of relates to what's kind of going on right now while also just being a good movie in general then you'll really like this one next is raya the last dragon on disney plus i feel like i'm saying that wrong i don't know if it's raya or raya or i can't even remember so what it's about is this world where humans Humans and dragons lived together and what happened was there's these monsters called the I don't even know what they're called there's these like bad guys okay like let me put this in the simplest form ever because it is a Disney animated movie bad guys trying to take over the land the dragons sacrifice themselves and then 500 years later we're now following Rhea who is this girl who is trying to save the world again because these bad guys are back monsters, whatever you want to call them. I don't remember. I kind of saw bits and pieces of this movie because it was kind of playing and then I had to do something and then it was playing. So my mind is kind of all over the place, but I really, really liked it. So I needed to put it on this list, even though I kind of saw bits and pieces. But basically this young girl is trying to save the world and it tracked down the last dragon that, that is alive so that they can beat those bad monster things again. And it's a very empowering, female empowerment type of Disney movie, just coming of age Disney movie. It's really, really good. And Disney always does a great job with their animated movies. So if you like animated movies or you just like Disney movies in general, then you're probably gonna like this one. Next is Cherry, and this is on Apple TV. It's with Tom Holland, who as we all know, is the most recent Spider-Man. And it follows him, who is an ex-vet, and he's struggling with PTSD and becomes addicted to painkillers. And then he gets in this debt from buying all these painkillers. So in order to repay the debt, he has to rob a bank. And so there's so much going on. There's just like so many layers. There's the psychological mental health kind of layer of him dealing with PTSD and addiction. And then there's the action layer where he's robbing banks and trying to get money to be able to pay this off. So it's a really, really interesting movie. I think it's really, really well done. It's created by the same creators of the Avengers movies. So you know it's gonna be good. And 
Spider-Man himself is in it. So definitely check that one out if you're looking for an action slash crime type movie. And then last but not least, the final movie on my list has to be on the list, Coming to America with a Two. This is a classic, guys. You have to watch the old one if you haven't seen it yet. Hilarious. It's with Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall. They come back as their original roles. It's the sequel to the first movie, which without ruining the second movie, the first movie, it's about this guy who is a prince in this African country, which is made up in the movie. It's just like a fake African country. And he comes to America, hence the name coming to America. He comes to America to find a wife, but he doesn't know anything about American culture. He's used to everything being done for him. And he comes with his, I don't even know what he is. I think like, I don't know if he's his servant or his, like, I don't know, I guess you'd call him an assistant. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to call him. I don't remember. But he comes with his best friend who also happens to be kind of his servant that does everything for him. And they both try to assimilate to America and it's hilarious. It's a comedy. So if you are looking for a comedy and you've been waiting for me to get to a comedy in this list, this is the one that you need to watch it. Such a classic and just all around gonna make you laugh throughout the entire movie. So make sure to check that one out. So that's it. Those are the top five movies from February and March that I really loved and that I think you should check out. Hopefully you found something in the list from these two months. I know I kind of jam-packed it into one, but really I think I came up with a pretty good list. So let me know if you check anything out in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you actually ended up liking. And if you want any more videos on show and movie recommendations, I have an entire playlist. I do this every single month. So I will link that down below and at the end of the video. As always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more recommendations every single month. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.